Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I uploaded a video, probably a month by now. Uh, to tell you the truth, November has been a really tough month for me. So now if this hits a little too close to home, you could just skip this section of the video, but I do want to explain what's been going on or a little bit of an update. So for the better part of this year, um, I've actually been going through what you call practicing medicine. So a lot of the times of this year, I had a lot of experimental drugs and everything. So I was breaking out, skin rashes, stuff like that, etc., etc. So, so yeah, the treatment was pretty brutal throughout this whole year because we were trying to find the right treatment for me. November, we had to do something called the whole brain radiation treatment because I have more lesions in my brain. So as of right now, I'm actually bald. But we did go through that and it was very difficult. Besides being fatigued and all that other stuff, I haven't had a chance to really update you guys on what's going on just because the way I was feeling through the whole process. Anyway, I am now finished with the treatment. It's been, uh, I think, less than 10 days or something like that, but I'm still feeling the after effects. I didn't want to go too long without updating you guys with what's going on, so... Here it is. Long story short, there's a lot of things that's been coming out and updating that I do want to test and play around with, but I've just been so fatigued to test anything. Or when I'm in this condition, I don't want to operate heavy machinery. So I haven't been testing some of the stuff that I want to test. So I'm just gonna make it in a form of telling you what's been going on. Maybe you guys could play around with it before I get a chance to. So here we go. The first big thing is that RCS. RPCR PCS3 or play I don't even know the combinations anymore right now but uh, the emulator to play PlayStation 3 games now works on ARM64 which also works on Raspberry Pi which means eventually we might be able to get it on one of these handheld devices which will unlock a lot more games I could play with during my treatment so that's going to be awesome I really want to test it out I've seen a video that they just dropped on some of the games with half resolution but Still, being able to play PlayStation 3 games on a Raspberry Pi 5 is amazing. So that is one of the things I want to definitely touch on soon because you could tweak those things to make it play even more games. And I'm almost certain that ETA Prime is going to be testing this first before I will get a hands on. But I do really want to test it out. Now, second thing I want to update is a bunch of stuff, actually. But because it's... I might have got an email for it. I don't know. I haven't even checked. But... They came out with a Pi 500 keyboard, which is basically the Raspberry Pi 400, but it's the Pi 500, and it's keyboard form like this. Now, ETA Prime and uh, Jeff Gearling, they did a really nice video on that, so if you want to check it out in more detail or breakdown, just check out their videos. But they also have a Raspberry Pi monitor and the CM5, which is something I missed the drop on, so I don't think I'm going to go back to get it. But being that it is available, maybe I'll play around with it if I get it in the future. But for now, you do have the Pi 500, the Pi monitor, and also the CM5 if you do ever decide to play with it. And if the CM5 might fit on the CM4 development board, I'm not sure yet. I do got to take a look at that stuff because, uh, like I said, this these things just popped up. I haven't had a chance to really like research it yet, but... It's something I do want to take a look at. Next thing I do want to tell you is FreeCAD is no longer beta and FreeCAD now has FreeCAD 1.0. I have not tested anything on there yet, but they do have a lot of patch notes. I never thought that this would come into existence, but yeah, FreeCAD is 1.0 now, so it's, that's pretty cool. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description below for the patches, but it seems like they updated a lot of stuff to get it to 1.0. Last but not least, there's two little things that I want to take a look at that might involve you or not, but uh, Proxmox is now 8.3 with the new kernel version. So I'm gonna take a look at that. But again, I don't wanna operate heavy machinery during this state. I'm gonna leave that alone for a little bit until I get a little bit better before I format my server and stuff like that. Not format, but upgrade my server. And the last thing that I use a lot of is called screen copy. It updated to 3.0. So there's also a lot of stuff that came with 3.0, especially stability stuff. If you use screen copy just to like, just to mimic a screen of an Android like this or my phone. Yeah, screen copy up updated to 3.0. So check that out if you're interested in that. Otherwise, that is it for updates goes. When I feel a little bit better, I am going to start making the videos as far as like what I was talking about with the PlayStation 3 on Raspberry Pi 5 or some other stuff along the way. But for now, I just wanted to keep you in the loop that I am still around. Treatment's been beating me up. I do not wish this on anybody. And hopefully I'll be back much stronger than I am now on my next video. Thanks for watching.